What's today, Chris? Munchy Monday. We have solve all your problems. Something fucking humongous in front of us, actually. Oh, make quick babies. I'll tell you why. It's my baby. We went to Amato's. Philly cheesesteaks. I feel like it's very hard to fuck up Philly cheesesteaks. But you'd be surprised how many people fuck up a Philly cheesesteak. I mean, all you would literally all need steak, yeah. beef, I mean, and cheese. Pretty much. Cheese whiz, too. It's not even like great cheese. But... I love cheese whiz, though. Like some people, some, a lot of people actually don't like cheese whiz. I don't know why. I think it's great with cheese whiz. Let's see what we Let's get a. Inside, I will tell you, we got some some fungi, pretty got some mushrooms and uh, some onions. It's really cheesy in here. Crazy. And there's bread. Wow, that's freaking thick. Well, cheers it. situation and it's no turning back now I'm not about to get up and touch all sorts of shit just to grab some napkins I mean I'm licking my fingers you gotta be a man when you eat a Philly cheesesteak you gotta be ready to make the best <laughs> and it's gonna be everywhere it's probably on my face right now and I'm not scared to wipe it off it, let's just leave it there gotta wear it proud and flaunt it um, everything's really moist that cheese is just all the way in there Soaked up in the bread. Not lost for words. Not lost for words there, man. You're in cloud nine, right? Feeling good. If you get to make your own peeled cheesesteak, Chris, and you get to pick um, a cut of meat, what would you pick? Take your time. Oof. Tough question to answer. Filet mignon, okay. sliced up real thin. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be tender and juicy. I feel like it can be done, but it would lose a lot of the moisture because there's nothing holding it together. But I feel like you get a lot of good flavor out of that, especially if you keep it kind of medium. So there's a little bit of pink on that. Just a little bit. Everyone likes it. A little pink in the middle, man. I would probably go with prime rib. Oh, yeah, man. Think about prime wow, rib. I didn't even think about that. That yeah. is fucking good. <laughs> like, that fatty cut, just... And even my hair move. Just chop the shit out of that, and then just put it on good bread. Wow. I'm seeing it, as you said. I mean, and just smother in cheese. It's just... Everything's better at smothering cheese. If you're in a Philly cheesesteak commercial and you get to pick your girl and be eating Philly cheesesteak next to you, who would you pick? So a girl eating Philly cheesesteak? A model. Let's just go straight for it. A model. Like a, any model that you like to wow. eat a Philly cheesesteak with you in a minute. But I would say Kate Upton. Mm, why? Yeah. Because she's a very natural figured girl and I like that. She's not trying to be like super thin. She kind of has this natural beauty to her, even with the curves. I mean, like, there ain't nothing wrong with that. So I know she appreciates the food, man. She'll get down on that Philly cheesesteak, and I'll be proud as fuck. That I'll have just... a tear running down my eye, like, like that Native American dude on that one commercial. That's just a like, very <laughs> good visual. Like, Kate, I've been eating in this massive sandwich. Pretty good choice. Pretty I don't good know. Good. She's just she's she reminds me of a full figure girl. She gave me a Philly cheesesteak boner, man. That's pretty awesome. For me, I probably have to pick Emma Watson. You know why? She's such a proper girl. I want 
imaginary eating. I'm not sure to say magic because this is gonna happen. I want her to eat a Philly cheesesteak next to me and be as sloppy as I am. Why? Emma Watson's pretty cute. She's her mighty. I mean, I grew up watching her. This is just like this fine little lady. Yeah? Waving her wand like crazy. That would be awesome to see her eat. Alright, man. That's pretty awesome. Like. <laughs> I'm lubing it down because this, this is, is pretty bottom. fucking dry. This is um, that's some thick ass bread. The end. <laughs> Jeez. It can't be saying that about the food. It's supposed to be good. Oh, but I'm not saying anything bad about Mono's. Dear God, no. I love that place. They actually hook it up. But I'm not gonna lie, this shit is not cheap. This is fucking like seventeen dollars. It is eighteen dollars after tax. My God. So. I feel like this is uh, well worth it. How about you, Spencer? Did you enjoy your models tonight? I mean, I'd imagine every time we get it, there's always a chance that something might not be as good as the previous time. What do you think? I'm definitely still enjoying it. I, mean, I don't think you, you can have enough cheesesteak in your life. You probably eat this like once a month. Once a month, once yeah. Thing. I wish I ate it more often, but fuck. Once a month is pretty good too. I'd be lucky if I did that. I also don't think we're gonna spend like seventeen dollars per sandwich. Every yeah. time. I ain't trying to get that bad either. So um I'm gonna flip this hat around like Ash Ketchum. And get to work, bruh. Catch that Pokemon dude? Catch that fucking Pokemon. Alright man. I'm gonna keep eating. Thank you.